Christine says that 11.44 is greater than 11.6 because 44 is greater than 6. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your thinking. Well, if you said agree or disagree, let's check your answer. The first thing I'm thinking of doing is lining up these numbers in a, in two columns. We have the two numbers we are comparing are 11 and 44 hundredths and 11 and 6 tenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my tens. In the first number Christine is comparing, she has 110. In the second number she's comparing, she has 110. In the first number she is comparing, she has also 1, 1. And in the second number she's comparing, she has 1, 1. Drop the decimal. In the first number she's comparing, she has 4 tenths. And in the second decimal she's comparing, she has 6 tenths. And in the first number she, she's comparing, she has four hundredths. And there is, no there is no number in the hundredths column for the second number. So I'm starting to think about what could possibly go here. I know that if these are the same, they cancel out when comparing a number. So if our tenth tens column is the same, they cancel out. So I'm going to cross those out. Our ones are the same, so I'm going to cross those out. Next highest value is the tenths column. Which number is bigger, four or six? So if you said six, six tenths is bigger. Remember, six tenths is larger than one half. Four tenths is smaller than one half. So we can also think of it another way. We can put a zero placeholder in here. If you disagreed with Christine, that is the correct number that is the correct answer. There's another way we can show you. Look here and you'll see the first number she is comparing. But where is the second number on this number nine? Well, we can count up by hundredths one hundredth each jump. So we have 11 and 45 hundredths, 11, 46 hundredths, 11, 47 hundredths, and so on. Notice if we keep counting on, we're eventually going to hit 11 and 59 hundredths. So what would be the next number after 11 and 59 hundredths? 